Now, if you've never seen these, check these out. This is where the vending series comes from. Look at that image of these booster packs there. See that? Pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It says, these came out of vending machines. They did not come out of booster packs. And they have totally different artworks. So I think I've opened these before. And you have to be careful because you can actually chip the edge of the card. Well, this one came out real nice. And look, it's Eevee. Vending Series Eevee. The card tends to be a bit more glossy than um, a, reg Ooh, a regular card. Sorry about that. I've learned, by the way, bumping my Ethernet cord can cause us to disconnect and then reconnect shortly afterwards. So that's very neat. And that is what a Vending Series card looks like. Uh, so, But what we could do is I could pop a whole bunch of these out of here. Yeah, that's a lot of work popping these out of here, actually, when you think about it. Ooh, Porygon, nice, dude. We are. Ooh, look at that Abra. Nice. Put it in my bag. What's up, Jeff? How's it going, man? I hope you're feeling better after the other day. Here we are. Look at that. So these are really nice. Yeah, we always got weird stuff going on on this channel. Fun place to be. You know, I could have I added this to the menu so long ago. But the way it kind of goes is like this. I try to have something newish all the time. And, um, oh, this one's a little off center. Look, left to right. So even fresh out of the machine, it is not in perfect condition. Now, guys, we're we're only going to be live strictly for an hour. So if you want something, you got to place an order for it right away. These are not quite ready to be listed up. But I'm showing you what's coming to the menu. This is probably... Is this valuable? Do I just throw this away now? I guess I just throw that away. Feels bad. I feel like I'm not supposed to throw that away. All right. The empty sheets are valuable, right? Oh, man, that's cool. Snorlax. Check that out. Yeah, I've been sitting on these for years. They were covered in dust when I pulled them out. What is this? Uh, this is Pokemon Vending Series. Okay. Oh, another Eevee. Very fascinating, because I feel like we just pulled one. You should sell them by the sheet, says Robert. No, I'm not interested in that. Okay, we got a little Abra here again. What's on the coins and red balls? Pop them out. Damage counters. Damage counters, maybe coins that you can play the game with. Oh, it's, it says marker, huh? All right, so these are definitely like damage counters for playing the game, right? Pokemon's so fun. Oh, a Parasect. I might need that Eevee in my bag. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, these are very nice. Uh, but so I was hoping to just extract them all and then make them a random pull. You know, we've been doing that with the Cardos cards. Cardos is restocked, by the way, for anyone who didn't hear about that. Cardos is restocked. Charizard's... Oh, baby, dude. I might have to grade that one. Oh, man, that Mewtwo is beautiful. But I can't. You know why? Because I'm not allowed to pick through them if I plan on selling them as singles. So that's the rule. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to pick through. I have to give the the entire sheet has to be available to the person. Here we go. So we got Wigglytuff. Oh, man, that's cute. Wow, dude, I didn't think this was going to be so cool. I should be doing this on a on a video. Okay, another Parasect. That's respectable, not going to lie. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's what makes opening the singles attractive, right? Like, if I were you guys, I wouldn't be interested in the single if, if you know, they were picked through or something, right? Now, there's exceptions to that. Like, for the poker set, I'm not actually able to give out the Charizard from the set because he's so much, he's so dramatically rare and dramatically expensive, I would have to considerably change the price of the poker cards, which I guess I'm open to that, by the way. I'm open to that. But, you know, you're looking at poker cards that would cost, like, maybe, like, 20 bucks a piece just for a small chance for the Zard. And then one guy gets the Zard and he gets all the value. So I don't know. If, if that's what you guys like, we could do that for the poker cards. I, I want to beef the poker cards up, by the way. I want to get some sets, more sets into it. Just know sheets can also be picked through, mister. It doesn't have to be only singles. Oh, interesting. So you're saying that the guy who sold these to me, he could have pulled the best ones out. So I'm guessing the best one was that Mewtwo, though. The Mewtwo is there. There's no way it's not the Mewtwo. Because I've seen vending series before, and I know that Mewtwo is a hit. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Oh, man. This is more fun than watching boosters get opened. Yeah. I agree. Ah! 
Look at that Chansey. We gotta save that for Dennis. We won the war, but they won the Poke Battle. No Pikachu, mister. Oh, there's no Pikachu in here. Is that what you're saying? Should there be? Ah! Oh, man. Look at that Lickitung. That's so cool. I'm not a big Pikachu fan. I'm not like a Pikachu simp or anything. Pikachu is the chase. Well, I, you're talking about Uyama Pikachu? Because we might have Uyama Pikachu on a different set. If you notice, there's no there's no um, weird back on these. Okay, there's another Nidoran. Are you selling these Snorlax? No, not indirectly. I'm sorry, not directly. The Snorlax... So I, what I want to do... Oh, cool, Pinsir. What I want to do is I want to sell these as randomly pulled singles, just like I do with the Cardos. Okay, here's Nidoran. Can I have the empty sheets? Uh, I could sell you the empty sheets. Do you guys think the empty sheets have value? We are? All right, because I was just tossing it in the trash, to be honest. How much, mister, for one? For one sheet? One empty sheet? Or do you mean how much for one card? Look at that Paris. I love how the vending cards have, like, better artwork than the actual main series. Okay, we get a trainer. That sucks. <laughs> $50 per empty sheet. Yeah, right. Each sheet has the same cards. Pikachu sheet is the most expensive. Here's Subat. Well, these were purchased years and years ago. So I didn't know anything about picking through the sheets or anything like that. So it just is what it is. To be honest, I probably made money on these just by holding them for so long. Like any vintage product, right? Here's another Paris. Do you sell single tops cards? Uh, I certainly could for uncommon, for uncommon common ones if you'd like rather than grading any of them. Yeah, I got tons of the uncommon commons. For the hollows, I mean, that's a little that's a little trickier because, you know, if I get a, a good holographic card, I'm probably just gonna send it out to grade, you know, because I gotta get some graded cards up here. Okay, here's Geodude. Speeding up a little more now. Oh man, Clefairy, that's nice. Almost makes you think what Mr. has saved on his eBay watch list. Uh, it's not vending series, but yeah, I mean, you know, occasionally I'd run out and grab a couple sheets, but not that much. So like over the years, I've never really sold these. I could, oh, that's the Pikachu. You said the Pikachu was the chase, right? Well, we got him. All right, well, the seller was not a guy who was picking through them, okay? So it's, oh my God, look at this. Caterpie, so cute! That's adorbs! All right, yes, I could do that. Here we are. Kakuna. I need that Clefairy too, mister. Yeah. Here's a Huida. So we won't be able to have these for sale as singles until... I There's the Mr. Mime. Recognize him? That's from the Classic Collection. They took the vending series, Mr. Mime, and put him in the classic collection. Now you know where he originated from. You're like, wow, that's a weird Mr. Mime. I've never seen that before. Where did you get the sheets from? A guy in Japan. Okay. Caterpie. Is there a Raichu? Maybe. There's a Pikachu, isn't there? Oh, look at this meta. Oh, oh no. Get back here, you. <laughs> Gotta slide down my hand. Pikachu and Vending 3 is the chase. I believe it's Snorlax and Polyrath or something. Yeah, we well, we pulled both the Snorlax and the Polyrath, too. Mr. I'll put them in my Vending series box. There we are. The three art cards in this set, I believe. Do, 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 do. Look at that Rattata! <laughs> you two gotta be the chase. Uh, I got to do a little research because I, I, I can't tell. Do you think these sheets have any value, the empty ones? Here's, oh, recognize the Bulbasaur? That's the Bulbasaur Squirtle Deck Bulbasaur. So I wonder which came first. Probably the vending sheet, if I had to guess. And they said, uh, just take that Bulbasaur and put it in the... Polyrath? Oh, my God. Where's the Squirtle? Squank. Maybe he's coming up. Okay, so I've actually graded and sold this Charmander before. I, I graded him and sold him for like 90 bucks, if I remember. 
He went for a ton. Okay, here's Pidgey. Probably would pay $5 each. Oh, that's a lot of money because there's a lot of these sheets. Here's a ra -ta, ta ta Yeah, why would I be throwing these away? It's like throwing away an empty box from the vintage time period. I need all rats. You doing this the whole stream? I wouldn't mind. Uh, there is another set of them to kind of go through. Oh, there's the Squirtle. So cute. He's so cute. Oh, my God. I've seen these for sale. Wow, that's so cool. All right, it's like it's like details about the video game. What time did this start? This started at 2. Oh, my gosh. Look how adorable. Cubone. I want an Uyama. Okay, you got a little trainer. The back is so cool. Oh, no, the card can stick pretty bad. That's that's no good. Oh, no, that card's ruined, I'm afraid. Now, that's going to be an unlucky pull, I'm afraid. So the card can actually get stuck to the glue that's keeping these in place. That sucks. All right, well, we know to be really careful with it now. Luckily, it's Bellsprout and not like Pikachu, right? So we know. Okay, so that just popped out, that one. That's a bummer, isn't it? Bank corner. Somebody's going to get bank corner bell sprout and it's going to be bad luck for them. Oh man, look at that ghastly. So cool. We go. How much for a vending card? I currently don't have a price for vending cards. Oh, look at that weeping bell. I currently don't have a price for them, um, but we will. So this is. This has a potential to be really expensive, this one right here. Oh, there it is, Uyama Pikachu. Wow, so cool. I've actually never opened one of these. We're gonna have to clip this. Very cool, man. There's Uyama Pikachu. These are really expensive. They're like $800. Wow. <laughs> Okay, and a Cubone again. Yeah, if you've never seen the Uyama Pikachu, I bought one not too long ago. So um, I'm going to be selling these empty pages because apparently they have a little bit of value. I don't know why. All right. Well, so when it came to the uh, vending series box, I was saying earlier, I can't put these in the vending. I can't put them in the random pull box because they're too easy to identify. You just know which ones they are. So when it comes to Uyama Pikachu, it sounds like you guys really want him. Here's what I'm going to do for Uyama Pikachu. We'll do breaks on it or something like that. But he can't go in the box because you're going to know right away. So it's not going to work. So here's another one. Oh, that is so cool looking. Extra rule. <laughs> I think they'd be too valuable for a regular pull. Break sounds better. That's why I'm saying a break makes way more sense. Oh my god, these are bonkers, man. Look at that haunter. Wow. Ghastly again? Oh man. And. Ooh, Bell Sprout. So we got another Bell Sprout. That's good because the first one kind of got messed up. Okay. Well, it feels like a like a difficult ritual or something like that. What the? <laughs> what am I even looking at? <laughs> That's cool, man. Is there a Gengar in that vending series? Think about it. Is there? I don't think there is. There's that Growlithe. I recognize the Growlithe. Okay. We got Pidgey Shmoto. No Gengar, just Ghastly and Haunter. Ponita. It's Ponita. Betting's fun, isn't it? Extra rule. <laughs> Today is my birthday. Been a while since I bought anything. What's hot right now? It says Evan Shea. Uh, the Classic Collection single pulls. The Cardoff single pulls. The Bulbasaur Squirtle Deck single pulls. Those are all real popular right now if you're talking about Pokemon cards. Uh, 151 Pokemon also does pretty well. Um, 
if you want to talk about other sets, One Piece is just selling out like crazy. There's also a One Piece New Era box break. Never thought I'd be doing a box break of One Piece. It's so weird to think about. Okay, Vulpix. Wow. Um, Slobaway is hot. People love Slobaway. Somebody just did... Uh, so earlier today, <coughs> there was a Slobaway on Dragonite, and somebody just did a Slobaway on Mew. Uh, Slobaway is very popular. Oh, what is this? Look at that, man. Wow. Juan Piece. That's right. <laughs> Hey, we got Growlithe. What and Squirrel decks are the hit? Uh, the Squirrel decks are actually very similar to the Vending series. Check it out. So, Pikachu, look at these. It's actually got some base set in it, too. Except, look, instead of... It, it's got a, a Squirrel there. So it's actually very unique that way. But there's a lot of energy cards and a lot of trainers, okay? <laughs> Vulpix. Okay, Vulpix again. Definitely going to have to have Mike's side turn this into a video. Extra Rule. So lots of Extra Rule. Ooh, look at that Scyther. Cool, man. These glossy cards are so neat. Kangaskhan. Oh, man, dude. Now we've got Tauros. Ooh. I actually really like these cards. They're so unusual looking. The ones that give you, like, the data on the video game. Venonat. Oh, man. I like the old Japanese back art. Yeah, they call them old back. <laughs> when you're buying from, like, a Japanese guy, he says it's old back. It's like, oh, that's so cool. Are those uncut sheets of vending Pokemon? That's what they are. Mayhaps Milady would like like a glass of my finest red. Okay. Pulls out Mountain Dew Red. Damn, dude, these are... They're kind of hard to... There you go. What's the trick of these? Okay, Tauros. Are they for sale? They're going to be. I can tell there's a lot of excitement for them. Okay, hey, Venonet. Aha, uh -huh. Nidorino. Man, too many Nidorinos and Nidorinas. What's the best bowl? Pikachu, I guess. Pikachu probably will not be in the box. All of the cards that had the unusual back will not be in the box, most likely. It, to me, it doesn't really make sense to do it that way. They'll be too easy to detect. And so I'll be... I'll be stuck with the scenario where I either grab it for you or avoid it, and I don't want to do either of those things. I don't want to feel like I'm sniping it for you because I like you or avoiding it because you ordered one card. So the way I like it is I like it to be I'm, I'm totally clueless about what's going on. So that's what I like. And because that's kind of how your brain works. Your brain, you know, subconsciously influences you to go one way or another in a box when you're pulling random cards. Now, if we had a machine that could distribute these perfectly, then they would definitely go in. Is there? Do you think there is a machine? Oh my God, what if we bought a card vending machine and when you ordered one, I just turned the camera and I just did the vending machine? How cool would that be? Oh, that would be amazing. And then you couldn't see it and I couldn't see it and nobody could control it, right? Just the machine. Ooh, I've sold one of these before. Make a separate box pull for the Imakuni card. So I already thought about that. And so I'm the thing I'm struggling with is what would the con condition be? One, one of those gets pulled every 10 vending series cards. Well, then I would have to sit there and keep track of that number all the time to make sure I don't screw it up. And, you know, uh, I think that that would incentivize people to only buy them a certain way. They would only buy them 10 at a time. And, uh, and yeah, and then... Once he's done being pulled, what would happen? Nobody would want them anymore. So nobody would want the vending series card the moment Imakuni gets pulled. That's what would actually happen. Everyone would be like, did Imakuni get pulled? He did. All right, I don't want it anymore. So that's the problem with Im Imakuni. It's very similar to like the poker card problem. So it's like if you got one big expensive card making the whole box very expensive, nobody's going to want it the moment that card gets pulled. It's just... Not not worth it anymore. Every now and then. Ooh, look at that. Every now and then someone might pull it. But other than that. That's searching. Yeah, I know. Well, I don't want to search. But the pro So that's why I like to not know. I don't want to search. And if I can actually see which card is an 
chance for Imakuni, well, then it's going to be impossible for me to... It's like if I could just see whether it's a hit card or not. So it's a real problem. Two separate boxes in the middle with the regular cards. For each irregular back card label and energy one, random pull out of the regular box. I know you guys are wanting the Imakuni card real bad. I can sense it. Uh, we just need to do a break on the Imakuni. This is, it's as simple as that. It needs to be a break. Maybe we could do a cool thing where every vending series pull is a chance to get... Well, no, that would be really hard to set up too because there's too many, too many of those. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. No need to make it difficult. Just use a black back sleeve mister. Then I'd have to put all of these into a black sleeve. And I don't have those anyways. If it was a deck sleeve, I'd say no. Because I don't like deck sleeves. Because I, I feel deck sleeves increase the odds that the cards uh, get damaged. So I don't use deck sleeves ever. From, from a lot of experience, I don't use deck sleeves. If I pay Sabaway off... Do I get the $25 fee back? Uh, no, that fee is like, think of it like interest. That's the fee to reserve. So you took the card away from me, and if you hadn't done that, I might have sold it by now. Here we are. But you decided to take it away from me for six months, although you might pay it early, I suppose. But uh, no, currently that is the fee for Slab Away. I kind of rely on that fee. You know why? Because without that fee, I would probably lose money in Slab Away. And I'll tell you why. It's because guys put cards in the Slab Away, and then if the card actually goes down in value, they cancel it. So I constantly have to deal with people canceling their Slab Away if the card went down in price, and it just kills me. Like, I just lose so much money that way. So I need that $25 fee to break me even. I really do. It helps me break even. All right. I use Dragon Shield sleeves. Dragon Shield, Dragon Shield. Sand Slash. Ooh. Just a couple sheets left, everybody. Oh, man. This has got to be one of the coolest ones. I bought one of these recently, too. The Pokemon Machine card for, for printing Pokemon cards. That one's really bizarre. Oh, man, this Mewtwo is so good. Won't cancel any Sabaways anyways. Finish what I start. Ah, nice, dude. I appreciate that. You know, there are some guys who put their card in Sabaway, and they see it move down in price, and they still pay it off, and I always really appreciate those guys. It's, it's sort of like, you know, it might, it might be advantageous for them to do the cancellation, but they decide to go through with paying it off anyways because it's like... That was their agreement at the time. So, but not everyone does that. Actually, the vast majority of people, they go, oh, okay, so it's cheaper to cancel, huh? I reserved my slab away on Saturday. Could you use the $25 fee towards my slab if I paid off right now? On Saturday. What's today, Monday? Yeah, why not? But just this one time, okay, Eddie? Next time, if you do it, I can't do that for you because I don't, I don't want that to be the rule. You know why? Because basically what you're doing is you're still using slab away to stop anyone else from being allowed to buy the card. So if it's like, like, let's say it's a really hot card, it really should just go to whoever can pay for it at the time. We don't want slab away to just be a, a no fees way for you to take it away from everyone. Does that make sense? Like I took it away from the table from everyone and didn't even have to pay for you to do that. Here's Graveler. I paid my slab away. Tell him, mister. He paid. He said, my bills are paid. Where are the whole hollows at, says Cheese. Yeah, there's no hollows in this set? It sucks. That's a terrible Pokemon card set. All right, we got Omastar. Sabaway is not a dibs. Well, that's kind of what I'm... That's I guess that's what I'm saying. You're saying it in fewer words. We can't use Slab Away for a dibs. Now, he might not have been using it as a dibs. He might just not have realized he could so easily pay it off at the time. Oh! What is this, dude? All right. Okay, Graveler. Ma Choke. And Haunter. Wow, dude. So cool. All right, let's go through all the hits again, and then we'll clip this for Mr. Mike's side. So on the regular Pokemon side, we got Haunter, Machoke, Graveler, Omastar, Graveler, Kadabra. Looks really nice. Machoke again, Mewtwo. 
Right on sand slash sand slash hypno cadabra cadabra extra rule that belongs over here. Slow bro, gold duck, double slow bro, crabby that's Kingler, star you need a reno, Tauros. A bunch of Tauroses were pulled. Here's Kangaskhan. He got that double lightning bolt. I don't know about that Kangaskhan. Scyther's pretty good. I think there was only one in the whole round. This Weezing, too. He's kind of unique. Okay. Magmar. Very nice. Growlithe. Bellsprout. Oh, man. That's a cool-looking Haunter. Okay. Cool, man. I love that Venonat. Guy's running from Pokeball Barrage. Now, we also had these. So these came with the two, and they just have a totally different back on them. It's very strange. And so we got Extra Rule... The Pokemon uh, printing machine and extra rule again. Everyone wants this Pikachu. Uh, I feel once he's pulled from the box, the price on it won't be worth it anymore. So I feel like that's a problem with the Pikachu pull. He's very similar to the Charizard pull. Uh, and look, there's not actually that many cards in here. So I, I don't really know how we'll go about it. Okay, and of course we had these pulls from earlier. We were opening some sheets earlier. Squirtle, look at all this. These are great. Mr. Mime, Pikachu. So none of the hits have to be removed from here because they all have the same back. Golbat, Golbat, Mewtwo, Abra, Snorlax, Poliwath. And we'll put those away. All right, back to the orders. Ta-da! It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Michael Moore wants one Weiss Redive box. He's going for the snipe. Stop this man! 